The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith, and on today's show, well, we're looking at a unique green siding product called LP Smart Side. We'll begin with Dusty Dvorak from Wausau Supply Company, who will introduce our project and the new wood-based siding they selected. We'll then catch up with Lance Olson from LP Building Products to learn how LP Smart Side is made. We'll also learn more about the advantage to a factory finish as we visit Wausau Supply Company's Diamond Coat Finishing Facility and we'll finish up with a few installation techniques out at our job site. So we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started after these messages. When looking at a home, the one product that can make or break a first impression is the siding. And with so many types to choose from, which one is right for you? Well, if you're partial to the look of wood, want maintenance freedom, and are looking for a green building product that offers a 50-year warranty, you might want to consider LP SmartSide. As we found out from Dusty Dvorak, a value-added products manager with Wausau Supply Company. Well, Dusty, a little rain in the forecast, but the guys are still out here hard at work starting the installation on this. Looks like an addition to a church. It's an addition to a church. What we're trying to do here, Stuart, you can see there's some existing masonite siding on, and what we're trying to do is match up to that as best we can with the LP SmartSide product. Okay, well tell me a little bit about this LP SmartSide. Is it a relatively new siding product? Yeah, when we say relatively new, it's been around for 12 years, but it's already on over 3 million homes across the United States. Really? So it must be contractor friendly. Obviously, the look of it looks like wood, so it has a beautiful appearance if that's what you're looking for. Beautiful appearance, and the best part about it is you can use your regular woodworking tools to install a product. For instance, with cement, you got to have your, your cement blades, you got to have your nippers and all those things. And it's 16 feet long, so we're not dealing with all the seams, you know, on a 12-foot product. So you got a third fewer seams with the LP SmartSide product. Okay, is it available in a number of different styles and sizes? You've got a 6 inch, an 8 inch, a 12 inch, you also have the shakes available, all the trims, uh, soffit and fascia, so it's a complete offering of products. And you can encapsulate the entire exterior and have a 50 year warranty on all your product. Oh really? So it has the corner pieces, it has the trim, it has everything you need, so if you want to maintain the look throughout your project, you can do it with this uh, siding Absolutely, product. and have the same warranty, you don't have to wonder what the warranty is on the One product. One question I have, you know, it has the wood grain finish here, when I flip it over it almost looks like OSB, is there any similarities? The, the similarities stop in that initial appearance. This product is made to be an exterior product so they're using exterior resins in the manufacturing along with some zinc borate to, to keep the insects and stuff at bay. Well I'm anxious to learn more about the manufacturing process a little later we'll catch up with you again to learn more about the installation techniques that are necessary but right now I'm going to head out to the LP SmartSide factory to learn more about how it's made. Sounds great we'll see you later Stuart. As Dusty indicated, LP SmartSide is relatively new to the upper Midwest, and with its ease of installation and natural good looks, it's no wonder it's growing increasingly popular with contractors and homeowners alike. Now let's catch up with product specialist Lance Olson from LP Building Products to see how this unique siding material is manufactured at their facility in Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Wow, Lance, that's quite a pile of logs you have out front. No, it is. We've got a good amount of wood out there. The great thing about the wood that we use is it's all SFI certified. SFI stands for Sustainable Forestry Initiative. What that does for us is it assures us that all the wood that we use, the LP SmartSide Precision Series Siding, is it ensures that it's coming from sources that are sustainably managed. Sure, what does sustainability mean? It means it's environmentally friendly, it's managed, if you put it, and it's ongoing. So this is actually a green product that we're going to see the manufacturing process today? That's exactly right. Okay, so the logs arrive on site. How has it turned into the LP Smart Site? Well, the first thing that happens to the log is that it gets conditioned. It's conditioned so it comes in at the right moisture content and the wood is soft enough so we can take the bark off of the log. The bark goes into a separate part of the process that can be used as tool. The log itself gets turned into precisely shaped strands of wood, and those strands get dried and continue through the process and get turned into the finished product.
Now, Stu, this is our master control room. This is really the control center that controls the entire manufacturing process. This acts like the central nervous system to the plant. Well, I'm amazed at all the technology, the automation that goes on at this facility. Do you find it makes a better end product for the consumer? Automation is important to us, and it's important to the smart side product. It allows us to be able to really drive in on precision and accuracy on the finished product. And consistency is very important. Now, you can have the best technology in the world, but you must need some skilled technicians to operate it all as well. We've got a great team of skilled people. We've got skilled technicians, skilled operators, and we really rely on them to monitor the process, measure the process, and follow through on the redundancy that ensures that the finished product is consistent and meets all of the target specifications that it has to meet. Well, back at the wood chipper, you mentioned that the waste products or the byproducts went to heating the facility when needed. Others went and were chipped. And here's some of the samples of the chips. And you mentioned that there was a specific size that was needed. Why is that? Basically, the shape of the wood strand is very important. That's what gives us the consistency of the substrate and the strength of the backbone. That's what makes the product as rigid as it is and as stable as it is. So when it goes onto the side of the house, it lays flat and holds true. Okay, so the chips are very important. Once they come out of the chipper, are they ready to be formed into the product? After they come out of the wafferizing process where they're cutting the strands, then they go through a drying process. After they're cut, they're at about a fresh moisture content of roughly about 50%, give or take. A lot of moisture in them. There's a lot of moisture in them, and that moisture's got to come out. So it goes through the drying process, and they come out, based on wood species, they're going to be somewhere around 5 maybe 10%. What's involved in that drying process? Was that those huge drums we saw? It's large steel drums where the strands actually get suspended, they get tumbled, and during that process, the moisture is driven out of the wood. Okay, so once you got them dried down to the specific moisture content, what's next in the process? Once they're dried, then they go through the smart guard process where they're blended together with all the raw materials. Now the important thing about the blending process and the raw materials is that it's really a centerpiece to our smart guard process where we actually add an exterior rated binder. It really acts like an industrial strength glue that, that takes those strands and fuses or bonds them together into a very durable composite. In addition to that, and really a key part of the smart guard process, is our wood preservative treatment. It's an environmentally safe, EPA registered wood preservative recognized by the American Wood Preservers Association. And it's a proven effective wood preservative against wood destroying termites and wood decay. So bottom line is you have a superior siding product for whether you're a homeowner, a business, whoever's gonna put LP Smart Side on their home. They don't have to worry down the road about termites, about rot, about decay. Gives them a very long lasting siding product is durable, comes with an industry leading 50 year warranty, and it's gonna give them long lasting curb appeal for many years to come. Well, you know, as I'm watching in the background the process take place, those look like pretty large mats of product. How is that turned into the LP smart side that we put up on a building? Well, at this part of the smart guard process, we're actually taking the strands that have been treated and all blended together, mixed thoroughly, they get formed into a woven mat where the strands are woven together and they're overlaid with a resin impregnated paper. And then they go into a heated press and under intense heat and pressure, that mat, and that mat might be six, seven, eight inches is thick, maybe even thicker. That gets compacted down under intense heat and pressure down to thickness as low as three eighths of an inch. After it's pressed, it comes out in a wide sheet about 16 feet long. Well, that's got to get trimmed down. So what we do is we trim the edges and the ends and cut it down into four foot by 16 foot sheets that you see here. So here's the end product. It looks like a piece of trim. That's right. This is our trim and fascia product. You know, Lance, I've been in a lot of building sites, seen a lot of building products, and there's several of them I'd never dream of picking up in the middle. What is this, about a 16 foot length? I mean, they would snap if I tried to do that. There's a lot of products out there that you really got to be careful about the way that you handle them. But this is a really robust product. Remember we were talking about how important that strand was and the size of that strand? Well, that strand is what makes this product so strong and stable. It gives it the great strength to weight ratio that it has. Now, there are a number of different types of products besides trim or fascia, right? Right. We make a lab siding using this technology. We make a vertical panel siding that can go up in a single wall assembly and actually performs as a structural diaphragm to the wall assembly. Really? So this is a strong enough product that it can be used in a structural situation? 
Exactly. You take the panel siding, you put it up directly over the wood studs and that house wrap or that weather barrier, and it performs as a structural sheathing and as an exterior siding. Well, the last thing I wanted to point out, I couldn't help but notice the wood grain finish. It's very realistic. This wood grain texture is really an attribute of the product. It's a great feature. It really gives the real look of wood, but it doesn't have all those natural defects that come with solid wood. When we press this under that heat and pressure, we have plates in the press that actually press that deep wood grain texture into the product. Well, it's been a fascinating tour throughout this facility. It's great to see how you take nature's product, the big logs, turn them into a green siding product. Thanks for giving us the tour and coming on today's show. It was our pleasure, Stu. Coming up, we'll learn the importance of a factory finish as we continue with today's Home Remodeler. In our last segment, we saw how the unique LP SmartSide building products are made as we visited their manufacturing facility in Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Now let's see the importance of a factory finish as we once again catch up with Dusty Dvorak out at Wausau Supply Company's Diamond Coat Finishing Facility. Stuart, as you know on siding, the finish is vitally important, whether it be vinyl, wood, uh, steel, aluminum, that finish is vitally important and, and what you want to get is some longevity and, and something that's warrantable. So you're saying that the paint itself is different? I mean, there's different qualities of paint and that'll really affect the end result of the product? Absolutely, and always remember, good paint is not cheap and cheap paint is not good. And, and what we're doing here is we're taking and mixing our own premium product to apply to that LP siding. So how does this paint product differ from others? Well, what we're using, instead of taking a tint base and, and adding a synthetic man-made tint that has the vulnerability of fade, we're taking the eight primary colors and we're using as colorants mineral. For instance, you know, rock doesn't fade in color, right? We're taking those minerals and we're using those as colorants in our paint. And so this isn't man-made, this is earthen materials, and so that's gonna really create a higher longevity for the consumer? Absolutely, and what we're looking for is color steadfastness. We want that color to last for a long period of time, and that's how we can warrant it for 30 years. Okay, so what's involved in the mixing process? Well, it's all done according to weight. If it's a custom color, we'll take a color swatch, we'll computer match it, and then Samantha will go ahead and she'll mix up that color, and it's all done by weight. If it's a standard color, well, we have those formulas on file, and we'll just go ahead and mix them and, and go ahead and apply them to the siding. Well, that's interesting to know from a consumer standpoint that there are standard colors that come with the LP Smart Side, but it's also possible to customize it, send in a swatch, and you can pretty much get any color you want for your home? Absolutely, and we'll do an actual drawdown or a sample of that color, and we'll send it to that customer for them to sign off to make sure that they're okay with that color matching process. Okay, so the paint product itself is very important. What about the application process? Is that important? The paint applied to the siding is first and foremost of importance because, again, you can take the best product in the world and if you don't apply it properly, you're not going to get the longevity you need. So the process is vitally important. In fact, let me take you over and show you how we do that, Stuart. Stuart, as you can see, the product comes in on a full truckload and it's palletized and it's also got a shroud on it. We bring it over, take the shroud off. It's now in its prime state and what we want to do is get that high quality finish on it. So the vacuum bars will pick up the, uh, the pieces of siding and then it'll transfer over to the conveyor and you'll actually see it'll space each piece of siding so that when we spray that finish on that we get a good amount of uh, colorant on the edges as well. It then goes through the sander. Not only are we sanding the surface, but we're sanding the underside as well. So why are you sanding both sides of the product? The reason we want to sand the surface is because your finish is only as good as what it bonds to. So we want to make sure we break up that surface and give it good adhesion. We sand the underside because on LP siding it's a little bit coarse from the mat they use to press it. So we want to make sure we sand it somewhat smooth so that when somebody moves it on that pal, we're not defacing the piece underneath. So a lot of thoughts gone into this process. There's a lot of automation right from the get-go. Absolutely. Stuart, as it exits the sander, you can see there's a little bit of debris left on the surface of the siding. We don't want that debris on the surface when we spray our paint on there. So what we're doing at this point here is just backing off any debris before it enters the spray booth. Well, you know what I really like about the product is the rich wood grain. And as I feel it there, even though you're sanding it, it's still there. You can still see it, you can still feel it, but it's not rough. We take off just enough so we don't break that paint base overlay that we have on there as a primer because remember, we want good paint adhesion. And this machine right here is essentially a high-tech vacuum cleaner? Just takes off that dust and debris is all it does and then it enters our spray booth. Now here in the spray booth, this must be what sets you apart from a flood coating system. 
This is what sets us apart from the flood coders. And as you can see, what we're doing is we're specifically metering a specific amount of paint across the entire surface of the board. And you can see essentially we're going to get two coats in one pass because the guns are on at the beginning of the booth and then again they turn on at the back of the booth. Now what I can tell you is we're going to get six wet mills of paint on this product and when it dries down it dries to about two and a half to three dry mills. So I can tell you that whether it be the high point or the low point of the siding, it's going to have the same amount of paint on it where a flood coater goes through a cascade or a curtain of paint and basically it's wherever that uh, paint settles to, it's going to have more in the valleys, a little bit less on the, uh, on the high points. So do you get a superior end result here with this by all the technology and the precision application? Consistent. Remember, always want that consistent quality. The only way to achieve that is with a system like we have here. Is it also more environmentally friendly? We use all waterborne finishes, and again, you know, the LP product is a wood product, nothing greener than that, and, and specifically harvested. So, uh, again, you're not going to find a greener product than the one we're providing here. Okay, so we can see it coming out of the spray booth. What happens to the product now? The product then goes into our big oven and bakes at a half hour to 45 minutes. And the purpose of that is to give it a little bit of pencil hardness and also so that we can ship it in the next 24 to 36 hours. Once it leaves the oven, it goes into a cooling chamber. We have to cool this product down before we palletize and slip sheet it. So, so we want to cool it down, and that's what's happening here. It's transferring from that point over to the feeder. Now, what is the purpose of the visqueen or the slip sheet, if you put it? We slip sheet every layer because somebody leaves a shroud off overnight. We don't want to have moisture migrate down in, in between every piece of siding on the entire pallet. We just want to make absolutely certain that we don't get any defacing and that we have a water bear between each layer. So if you leave the shroud off, we don't want water to impregnate all the way in between that siding. We want to make sure that if anything's to happen, it's just one layer of siding that's affected. Well, I tell you, Dusty, i got to hand it to you. It's an impressive facility, an impressive process. Anything else go on here? I want to show you one more thing, Stuart, that I think our contractors are really going to be excited about. Oh, wow, Dusty. These are pre-made corners? A pre-made corner, and the beauty of this pre-made corner is rather than having one piece overlap the other, you know, some people feel this, this edge is kind of unsightly. Well, sure, that's a traditional way of doing it out in the field. Right, just, just overlapping the two, but what we're doing is actually molding the edges on these pieces, and then we bring them together and create that one-piece corner. Wow, that is a superior looking corner. That's going to save the contractor a lot of time in the field. Saves a lot of time in the field, and there's nothing better than having a one-piece corner rather than having to overlap the two and have that unsightly edge. Sure, so not only labor saving, but it gives a superior end result as well for the homeowner. A superior end result, and also you can get them finished rather than just having them prime. Stay tuned. We'll head back out to our job site to get some installation tips next when we continue with today's Home Remodeler. So far in today's show, we've seen how LP SmartSide is manufactured and learned the benefits of a factory finish. Now let's finish up today's show with Dusty Dvorak, a value-added products manager from Wausau Supply Company, who shares some helpful advice for properly installing the LP SmartSide siding products. Well, we've learned a lot about the product, how it's made, you know, how it's finished. What about the installation? Are there some keys to a successful installation that you can share? Yeah, some quick tips. Uh, because it is an engineered wood product, it is going to grow and acclimate to the weather, okay? So we want to make sure between each piece of siding that we leave 3 16 of an inch gap and also where we terminate against a corner post or a, or a window or a door. Secondly, make sure when you drive your nail in, you don't overdrive it. You don't want to penetrate into the siding. You want to leave it flush with the siding. So that's important as well. Mark your studs. Make sure you nail into your studs. And when you end a piece of siding, that you end on a stud as well. Okay, if I'm a contractor, I'm interested in starting to use this product, can you offer any advice to them? The best advice I can give you, we have a free installation startup service. So we'll send out one of our diamond coat specialists and he'll work with you for a half day, full day, whatever it takes, till you get comfortable with the installation of the product and make sure it's done properly. And as you know, you can take the best products in the world, but if you don't install them properly, it's all gone for naught, right? Sure, and as we saw here today, we had John in the background, he's helping the contractors first time they're using the product, but you know, when the weather starts to cooperate a little more, I bet they're just gonna fly right along with it. Absolutely, we're looking forward to that. 
Oh, and here's what you're talking about, the 3 16 of an inch gap right where it butts into the corner. Right where it butts into a corner and, and the edge on the speed square is, is 3 16 of an inch. So you can see we have the proper gap there. Now, this will get caulked, Stuart, so this isn't going to be exposed to the weather. So where it terminates against a corner or a window or a door, it'll get caulked around that perimeter. The other thing you'll notice is that we have nailed on our studs and we've left those nails flush with the siding and that's imperative. You know, you don't want to overdrive them. Again, we're, we're concerned about wind upload. So, you know, when you nail it, make sure you leave your nail flush. Okay, and they went ahead, they marked the studs so they're ensuring that they're hitting the studs and as it's moving along it looks like again it's a pretty easy product to install it's going up very quickly because again it's a 12 inch lap siding right it, you know it's a common sense application is what it is i still recommend it you know have our specialists out here get you started get comfortable with the product and again it's a product i know you use time and time again and i know on this job one area they could have saved some considerable amount of time when you're talking about labor costs are the corners back at your manufacturing facility you did show us the new corners there uh, why didn't they opt for it here well, they didn't have the option. We just got started with that, you know, recently here. And when they ordered this, that, that wasn't an option that's available to them, but it is now. So again, whether you're a contractor or a consumer out there looking for a, the wood look and a good long lasting product, consider LP SmartSide. They can talk to their local distributor to find more information. And again, your professional contractor. Well, it's been great learning about this new siding product. Well, thanks a lot for coming on today's show. It's been my pleasure, Stuart. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. If you're looking for a green siding product that offers easy installation in the natural look of wood, consider the LP SmartSide family of trim and siding products. Be sure to educate yourself on the different sizes, styles, and components, and ask about a diamond coat factory finish. Finally, always work with an experienced, knowledgeable contractor when siding your home. And if they aren't familiar with the new LP SmartSide product, be sure they take advantage of the free installation training offered by Wausau Supply Company. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on today's Home Remodeling.